everything in this house was designed to be low or no, not emissions, but high air quality. So no formaldehyde, no, there's no paint inside the house. All the walls that are not Pizé are integral color plaster. Now the Pizé itself, I mentioned the 18 inch thick Pizé walls. Pizé stands for pneumatically installed stabilized earth. And in our case, a form is created with all the rebar and whatever piping or whatever is needed. And then it's sprayed against that with a big gunite gun the way somebody would do a pool. And the reason you have this rough texture here, this is the side sprayed from. On the outside, you can see against this wall, for example, that's a smooth side and that's the side that the form was on. It makes a very aesthetically pleasing finish and there's no color in it. That's the color of the dirt. The Pizé is a mix of dirt and concrete and aggregate. The dirt and aggregate came from a local quarry within probably five or six miles from here that everybody in this area uses because if it's uh, color. The kitchen, all the cabinets are a non-formaldehyde MDF uh, box and then we have cherry on the face. There's no color in the stain, it was a natural bio-shield stain. The grain has really started to come out, it's, we're really happy with it. Cork floor, which is great in the kitchen for when you're standing on it, we've been very happy with that. All the floors in the rest of the house are concrete, which has been stained and uh, dyed to get the color that we wanted. No maintenance and no muss, no fuss, which is nice. So, what else here? Energy Star Appliances. This is an induction cooker, which isn't that common in the U.S. It's more common in Europe. It doesn't heat the pan. It vibrates the pan with a magnetic field and the pan warms up as a result of the vibration. The nice thing about this is this is 35 amps 220 in terms of its electrical load at maximum level. That's the same as the Geo Exchange heat pump, which heats the whole house and most of the hot water. So you can heat a pot of uh, pasta water in like two minutes, just like that. It's great. We have a light tube. A solar light tube comes through the roof and down into the room, and ours is like two feet deep, so it's quite a long distance. It's a reflective aluminum surface in there. The sunlight reflects down through and disperses out into the room and it's almost like a, having a light on in here. It makes a huge difference in this room. It's just sunlight. All the light in here is, is sunlight. If I covered that up, you'd see how dark it could be in this room. So that's free and it runs, uh, well, this time of year, it runs about 18 hours a day. <laughs> Permaculture may be, I don't want to, to denigrate anybody, but it may be associated with, in some people's mind with a certain modest or minimal level lifestyle. But that has nothing to do with the design concept of permaculture, which is to integrate nature and make it a more functional, energy efficient, and pleasurable house. If the whole range of people did it in this country on their particular level, it would be a huge difference just in and of itself. So we're trying to say it can be beautiful, it's functional, useful, and put it all together.